Hello Hunters, Algonon Gaming Studios back here with another Monster Hunter video. Alright guys, this is going to be a very, very quick video today. It's kind of uh, simple, but a lot of people, you know, some people just don't know. So, I'm going to try to help them out and try to kind of explain it. So, when you guys go to the canteen, if you guys notice, you guys get, you know, a certain amount of dishes that you guys are allowed to make. And as you guys just saw, you can actually make it behind the counter to the chef. So if your chef has an exclamation mark above his head, that means he has a quest for you that has to do with the canteen. Well, seems obvious. So you're going to have to go to him, you're going to have to accept it, then you're going to go to your handler like you see me doing here, and then you're going to have to search for whatever quest it, you know, you just picked up from him. Uh, so you're going to go under optional, and then you're going to sit there and you're going to search, you know, which, uh, which is what here. And if you can read the text in the lower right hand corner of the description, it actually says that in the end that there will be new products added to the canteen on completion of the quest. So, I did a very quick, um... A very quick one, actually, just to show you guys to see exactly what you're doing and to make sure that you know your efforts don't go to waste and that it's actually counted and everything else like this now as you can see i got a bunch of quests here that i have not completed yet because i've been waiting to record pretty much most of this for you guys so hopefully we don't run into any more recording problems for uh hopefully ever because i hate recording problems and that's what the last three and a half days was was me basically nerd raging over pretty much just you know, performance problems when it comes to streaming and pretty much the uh, content creation. It was just a really, really, really bad situation. Um, there were times where I'm trying to actually record the Xeno Jiva fight for you guys. It sat there and freeze framed for over 25 minutes of the fight, so I couldn't add that. So. I, what I did do, since this is a shorter, easier video, is I did speed up all of the actual quest itself so you guys can have a rough idea to see where I'm going, what I'm doing. Um, most of the times, these quests are very, very simple. They're like, kill 14 Hornitors, or, um, you know, basically, you're on pest control, congratulations. Or you need to pick up a Wavering Egg, or, uh, you know, th things of that nature. They're not too difficult, but they are... Um, I don't know. They, they, they give you a little bit, of a little bit of experience. I guess at the lower levels, it would actually help you out once you beat, um, once you beat, uh, Xeno Jiva to actually be able to have, you know, the excess food in your canteen to be able to, you know, get those different buffs a whole lot easier and have them available to you more often. So as you guys see, we're in the background here. We are going completely super speed on this. So, because... Uh, this was almost a 45-minute gameplay, maybe 20-minute, I don't know, somewhere around there. But uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to sit there and watch me run around and just kill little simple things on low rank for, you know, 40 minutes. I mean, who wants to do that? So all all I'm doing in the background, as I said, is I sped everything up to uh, a little bit, well, a lot faster than it normally should be. As you guys can tell, my uh, my hunter here looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. So he's running around, and I'm going to find pretty much these, um, these, uh, I forget what they're called, uh, Vesp Wasps, or, okay, well, either way, basically bugs. I'm going around, I'm shooting these bugs, and at the very, very end of this video, I'm going to slow it down so you guys can actually see that it was added to the canteen and that's exactly what you're looking for so you guys got to keep in mind i have pretty much not done a single canteen mission since i started playing just because i could never figure out how to get behind the counter to get to the actual chef uh i never really put too much thought into it so at the end of me running around here killing bugs and every once in a while some flying screecher thingies that i don't even you know i don't even uh i don't even take the loot from but, um, yeah, this is pretty much a low rank quest. It's, I'm not really too concerned about loot or most of the things on it. Uh, at the end of every quest, I suggest you take every single piece of loot that's there because it goes directly into your box. And you know what? I don't really think that there are limits on how much stuff you can keep in your box. So later on, guys, if you want to create something like a piece of armor or a weapon, you know, it makes sense to actually just collect everything that you can because why not? 
it goes directly to your box, doesn't impact your pouch, um, so you don't have any storage issues, and, uh, you know what I mean, you have it just in case, and if not, you can always mend it at the melting pot and make something useful out of it, like, uh, you know, ancient potions and things of that nature. So, here I am, still running around on super speed. Uh, I went, this put me in the, uh, in the Forgotten Waste here, and the area where you first fight the Diablos is right where I'm at. Uh, there is actually an extra camp back there. I guess I could have just fast traveled to that. But, you know, it's the beginning of the day a little bit, so it doesn't really matter. So, the end of the video is coming up here soon. Um, don't worry, guys, you won't have to hear me blab for forever. So, basically, I'm letting this play out so you guys can actually see the part where it says it added it to the canteen. Here's the 50 minute uh, or the 50 second wait time that I guess could feel like 50 minutes. But at the very end, when you collect your goods, guys, that's when you're going to know whether this has worked or not. By the way, for all you who don't know, um, all your hunter rank adds up after you actually defeat the uh, Xeno Jiva, which would be the last boss with the question marks in the uh, you know in the intro. But um, basically, the second that you beat that, you have a large jump in hunter rank if you've been doing other missions and things of that nature. So there you go. You see me complete a uh, bone bounty, I believe, and here we go. So we have the uh, the sweat wife off, we guess. By the way, guys, while we're waiting for this stuff to happen, um, if you guys enjoy what you see, go ahead and click like. If you never want to miss any content, go ahead and hit subscribe. And go ahead and put comments in the bottom section if you have any tips for any of the other viewers. And at the very bottom here, you guys will see it says added things to the canteen. And there it is. So there you go, guys. See you in the next video.